Hello everyone, in today's Command vs. DCS, uh, we're going to be trying very, very, very hard to uh, defeat what the enraged gamblers have thrown at us this time in Vegas. Uh, we've decided to try to cripple Nellis Air Force Base, especially after the previous engagement. So um, we've gone ahead and gotten on the phone, we got ourselves a pack of four very, very angry B-52s loaded with an enormous amount of ordnance. I believe it's something like 180, 750 pound bombs. Basically, a strategic bomb the bejesus at in Ellis to try to put it out of commission to try to give us some time. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any aircraft to provide suppression of enemy air defense, and uh, satellite photography has just revealed the presence of an S 300 plus some surface to air missile batteries of the infrared variety surrounding Nellis Air Force Base. So, uh, the good news is we do have some helicopters operating in the area. The bad news is the S 300 is a very, very tough missile system to kill. So, I have a feeling I know how this is going to come out in command. It'll be much more interesting to see how it comes out in DCS itself. So anyway, without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and get things going. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start by getting my little aircraft here. We have a pack of, uh, like I said, 12 helicopters, a couple hips. We'll actually be flying the hips in this mission. I think it's going to be insanity, but we're going to try anyway. We have ourselves some Cobras, and we also have some little birds as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get these guys all airborne. And really, really, really cross my fingers we can identify where the S-300 is before the fireworks get too great. Keep in mind the B-52s have pretty good ECM on board, but it's not going to protect them from something like that. And it's really not going to protect them from something like that when you actually get over into DCS. And hopefully you see what I mean. All right, here we go. So our B-52 is immediately identified some kind of new contact. I'm guessing this is the S-300 search radar. No, that's a surrogate indicator, so okay. So we're not able to get the exact class of this particular target left. We just have a general idea of what it is. Chances are it's incredibly hostile. Like I said, it's probably the S-300 search radar. Maybe we can triangulate it once we get the guys out of North Vegas. So basically the way I set this up is that the B-52s have about 10 minutes or so to get to the destination, which means in about five minutes they'll be in the lethal range of the S-300. Hopefully the helicopters can engage and destroy the S-300 in that time. Keep in mind they have to be able to identify where the thing is first, which is uh, not very good if you ask me. Alright, so um, if I had to predict how this is going to come out, all the B-52s will get shot down, all the helicopters will get shot down, and the S-300 will keep flying. One of the things that's a little tricky in command is I notice that some platforms like that have to actually point their fire control radar where they want to engage and they can engage more than one target at a time. But the thing is, if something comes up from behind it, it shouldn't actually be able to engage what's behind it and in front of it at the same time. People who've uh, tried scenarios in command with the S-450 and stuff like that, or S-400, know exactly what I'm talking about as far as that incredible, incredible effectiveness well beyond probably what the platform is actually capable of. Another limitation we're definitely going to be facing right here is the fact that all these buildings that we're going to be hiding behind in command are simply not going to be present in this particular scenario. So even if we could hide and do a nap operation, I don't think it's going to work. So let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit here. And one of our helicopters already got shot down. Sort of this guy right here. Stay as low as you can. All right, those B-52s won't be here for another few. Oh, more missiles on underway. Oh boy, we're going to be flying this from the perspective of those MI-8s, so um, this is not looking so good so far. And they're all dead. <laughs> oh man, I'm not looking forward to this. But at the same token, is it's a fun battle, so I'm not complaining. Especially using rockets against an S-300. Pause. I'm actually going to order these guys to go over here, and I'm going to order them to do minimum altitude. And if at all possible, please engage that. Order these guys over here. Minimum altitude. I'm going to go ahead and order them to engage whatever that is right there. Okay, here we go. So they're diving down. I told them to be minimum altitude. That was probably our first mistake here. Now they're 100 feet off the ground. Oh boy, there's four. I'm guessing that's going to result in four dead helicopters. One, two, three. Oh, the last one missed. So um, we still have three helicopters airborne. I wonder what actually happened there. Maybe they all hit the same helicopter or something like that. So that's another three coming for them. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, that's another one. We're running out of helicopters. And unfortunately, they've got an awful lot of those missiles ready to fire. Maybe this was not the best strategy for this. People who played Comanche back in the uh, 90s, early 2000s probably remember scenarios like this. But at least there you had a little bit of stealth. 
Let's see, I'm down to two cobras, and I'm down to, I'm guessing these are the little birds. I'm feeling they're about to get removed. Oh, that's another one. I've only got one of each now. And this is going to be over really, really, really quickly. Oh, oh, boy. That's pretty much the end of that. Oh, that one must have got caught short and smacked into the side of a building. Sorry, collateral damage. Sorry. At least it's wasting the ammo of the S300, so it makes me feel a little bit better. And the other thing is we've identified where the S300 is. Uh-oh, what's this? He's going for it! It looks like one of our Cobras actually survived. This is incredible. Well, let's hope that the infrared missiles that are placed around the airfield don't take him out, because that would just be sad, because like, it looks like he might do it. Chances are the S300 is uh, scrambling to reload right now, because we've probably gone through all of its ready ammunition. Fire! Yes! Yes! You can do it, Cobra! You can do it! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Guessing that's uh, something dangerous. Yep, identified as some kind of SAM site. Right, you don't need to get that close if you don't need to get that close. We got another one. So he's already fired one of those in that direction. We got the S300. This gives me hope that this mission may actually be possible in command. Uh, we've learned from before, of course. I don't assume that just because you hit it with a bunch of weapons that you've killed it completely. Come on, Cobra, you can do it. I would be so impressed if this Cobra is able to do this in DCS. We'll find out. Gotcha. And gotcha. It's not dead yet, though. Give it another one. Oh, those are SA9s. Okay. Unfortunately, our Cobra is completely out of Hellfriars. He's just got some uh, rockets and stuff like that. All right, you go ahead and use your rockets to chew up that S300. We're going to win this. The good news is the B-52s are going to be here in just a minute also. So um, hopefully uh, they can do quite a bit of damage. Whoa, 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 whoa hostile. Uh, this guy's going to get himself shot down trying to do this. But we're going to try anyway. Oh, good luck, Cobra. You've done so well so far. I wish we had a Cobra in DCS. I would love to fly one of those. I miss those from, uh, you know, the Janes games back in the early 90s, kind of a thing like that. And let me guess, you're totally out of everything. Um, air to ground strafing? Air to ground strafing, let's go. No! He's dead. He probably got picked off by one of these two guys. But at least we know that they're there. So I guess now it's time for the buffs to do what they're going to do with whatever they got. Let me check the weapon release authorization real quickly here. I don't want it to waste anything that doesn't need to be wasted. That looks pretty good to me. And I kind of want to order them to attack at a higher altitude. It's SA9s now. Uh, let's actually look up the altitude of SA9, because I have a feeling we can take advantage of what we just learned. Quickly go to facility. Let's type in SA9B. Assume it's one of these. We're not a couple miles. 13,000 feet of ground level. So what's the local altitude here? Uh, 18... 15,000 feet. So let's go ahead and tell our B-52 actually lift themselves up to 15,000 feet on the nose. Uh, manual override. Your guys are going up to 15,000 feet. Although I believe that puts them out of the effective range of their weapons. I'll have to check that as well. You guys are going to have to come up to uh, military. There we go. Let me check the engagement range on these things before I make the mistake. 65,000 feet. Good. Okay. Okay. This is, this is going better than I expected. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to climb up out of the engagement range of the SA-9s and cross our fingers that S-300 is still damaged enough that um, when we do do our bombing run, it's not going to be able to reload in time to actually get a shot off. Getting into range here. I think when we play this in DCS, basically our strategy is going to be run the S-300 out of missiles and then make our run. Especially, like I said, at an MI-8. It's going to be a heck of a project. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Come on, come on, come on. Here comes the B-52s. Right, they're a little high, which is going to mean their attack is going to be a little spread out, but I'd much rather them be at an altitude that's not going to get them in trouble. Oh, it's terrain following, that's why. No, no, stay at 15,000 feet. You're overridden. No, they're ignoring me. 15,000 feet, guys. 15,000 feet, there we go. Okay, we got them. Ooh, that was close. Military, beat up. 
going to be over the target a short amount of time. This is kind of an odd profile for a B-52. At least today's B-52s, you can actually come in pretty high. But classic B-52s, you know, kind of these low altitude sort of thing. They should be out of range. I'm just crossing my finger the S-300 hasn't reloaded in time. All right, bombs away. Watch this. <laughs> Strategic bombing. How many bombs you got left? We still have 156 bombs left. <laughs> Look at that. It's going to be fun at DCS, assuming they even get that far without getting shot down. Wow, that's going to make a... Whoa. And that's what B-52s are amazing at. Look at that. Keep in mind, that's only four B-52s. Wow. How many have we got left? 92. So we get to do it again, apparently. Come on, S300. Don't get repaired by the time we come back. We could actually have the B-52s attack the S300. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, they're doing it again. How many bombs we got left? 70. New contact. Sam detected. Oh, I don't know where that Sam is, though. Whoop, we lost the B-52. And you guys got to get yourselves at minimum altitude as fast as you can, because whatever's attacking us is probably very, very dangerous. Is that the S-300 that engages, us, or is that something else that engages? I can't even tell. We're picking up Sam's like crazy. I don't know what's... Oh, jeez, we lost another B-52! No! They must have dipped... Oh, they changed their altitude. And they got in the range of the SA-9s, I'm sure. All right, you guys got to get out of there as soon as you can. I think you're out of bombs anyway, so um, everybody get back to base, please. And on automatic, you guys get the heck out of there. Uh-oh, one of the B-52s just broke up in midair. He's on fire pretty bad. Get out of there! What is he doing? Get out of there! Right, so the SA-9s were actually the uh, winners here as far as this fight goes. We'll have to keep that in uh, mind when we get back to DCS. All right, uh, those guys aren't actually safely at base yet. Speed up time just a little bit here because uh, we won't bear. So we lost two B twos. That is, that's tragic. All right, let's see what happened. Let's see. We lost all of our helicopters and two B fifty two. So ooh, this is gonna be fun. Expenditures. That Cobra literally won. He gets a medal of honor as far as I'm concerned. Dropped all our bombs. Fortunately, I've got a hangar. We did plenty of that. We got an SA-10, an SA-9. We've also done a, quite a number on the actual airfield itself. Or actually, it quickly switch sides to the enraged gamblers here. We'll take a look at Nellis. Um, yeah, we did a pretty good job to kind of that side of the airport. And we also did a little bit of damage to that side of the airport. I think the runway is still in good shape. Yeah, it's definitely got hit. All right, let's see what happens in DCS. All right, over in DCS, we have everything all fired up and ready to go, just like we had over in Command. We had to change the AH-6 helicopter with um, the Gazelle that's already available in DCS. We have the Cobras down on the far end. We have my MI-8s. For some reason, those guys decided to take off uh, without my permission, but we'll kind of see how it goes. We're packing rockets right now, so that means we're going to have to get kind of close in order to do any damage. I'm a little nervous about getting picked off by an S-300, but at the same token as we know, those infrared SAMs can do quite a bit of damage. B-52s are available, and they're way, way, way off to the north. Hopefully we can strike, destroy those SAM sites, and let those guys kind of do the deed before um, they get on site and, of course, get shot down by the S-300. So let's go ahead and unpause. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Uh, what's killing me a little bit today is the fact this helicopter is so much lighter than I'm used to it being. So I'm like, having like to feel it out a little differently. Wow, that's different. Now, this is another one of those times where you really wish you had a radar warning receiver so you can know exactly what to kind of expect as far as stuff goes. Right up there, rockets. All right, let's do it. So we need to basically head in this direction. This is chaos. Like our allies have already started to engage. Any second now, you're going to see just a stream of S-300 uh, smoke trails essentially come flying through the sky and hopefully none of those are going to pick me out. Stabilize. These AH-6s are ripping. Man, that's impressive to watch. Nice and low here. So if we were ever going to be able to get away with this, basically... Oh, there they are! Oh! I think that was for me. Oh, that was, that was, that was, that was pretty scary. I see a bunch more. Definitely high enough to be engaged. Uh, is that one for me? No, that one's a Not necessarily ballistic, but it's going wide! 
Whoa, that was close. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta slow down and get a little lower here. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. We're gonna try, though. We're gonna try. Go ahead and give myself a little bit. Just in the helicopter around so you can get a better look at what's going on. At the very least, it makes it very obvious where the enemy is located. Keep in mind the real S300. Whoa! That was four, but I also in this area real quickly. The good news is the S300 does have a limited ammo supply, but those SA9s that we know are guarding the outskirts of the airfield are still very dangerous to us, especially since we don't have flares. Here. Got a sand launch working at 11 o'clock. Surprise me. There's another one. Let's go for some heels, though. Let's heal for a second here. Nice and low. Good. Right. This is uh, definitely stressful. Up the orange tree. Go. Down. See a helicopter. Straight ahead. A lot of flares. Okay, the guys in the left. There's a ton of flares. Right, cool. Imagine like tanks and stuff going on on the streets. Accelerate. We're gonna get to the point of no return as soon as we are essentially groups completely exposed. Nothing for us to hide behind. I'm actually gonna pick one. Late to the fun. Apparently, another one of the Sam's just got shot down. Should I have a radar warning? Cover, I'm gonna get my signal lower. Oh, 
explosion. Sam, Sam, Sam. Nope, no Sam. Definitely see some launchers. See him? Nicely done, nicely. I cannot speak whether or not for everything. I can tell you one thing, the S300 site is completely devastated. It's here, buddy, helicopters. Haha, uh -huh, you got burned. Of course, in the real world, you'd never be doing anything like this, because those guys would come running out of their vehicles and they'd be shooting up at us and stuff like that. But it's always kind of fun. So, I hear nothing suggesting that the SA-9 is still out there. So, I'm going to take myself a little bit of a Take myself a chance here, and uh, we're going to try to rip out of here and get back to the base as fast as we can. Then we'll go ahead and uh, speed up time a little bit and watch the beat. Just kind of do a beat. Go. So we, we contributed. We helped. <laughs> A little. But really, the Cobra saved the day in both command, and the Cobras definitely saved the day here as well. So, oh, there it is. There's the SA 9. On fire. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, let's get out of here. With me, if you show up and absolutely level this place. I can actually fly a little higher now. Uh, one big difference for me right now is the fact that. We only carry half a tank of fuel on something I'm absolutely not used to at all. This is kind of a recent thing for me. But at the same token, is it's kind of nice because it makes the helicopter very responsive if it's kind of the size of the wing. Let's go find a nice and safe spot to kind of set down and uh, kind of let the people do the thing. I'm going to go ahead and actually tell my guys to return to this. RTB, guys. Nicely done. So that just goes to show you the differences in the modeling between you know, this big city and low altitude and helicopters and surface air missiles and what you saw over in command. I think the only thing left in this particular scenario at this point is basically to uh, finish off taking over Nellis Air Force Base, especially after it's about to get absolutely smashed by a bunch of angry looking people in the tubes. And then uh, we'll kind of tidy the series up and probably move over to the very wall for some kinds of engagements in there as well. Hello, Cobras. You guys did an amazing job. Excellent work. That was cool. 
Keep in mind, in the real world, a lot of uh, surface terror and missile systems are set up in a way that they don't really see things like helicopters, because we just are too slow to actually show up. That's not to say they won't see you and still engage you, especially with modern systems, but it's just one of those things that back in the day... It's just a slightly different way to play. You guys are going slow, not you. At all. Um, the MI-8 helicopter for DCS, by the way, it's, it's kind of one of those helicopters. I'm like, well, I might as well get the last of the helicopters I don't own. It's pretty cool. I really wish it had some guided weapons on it that you can utilize. But the gun pods are a lot of fun. But unfortunately, take a look up there, it's kind of a lot that you have to kind of finagle slash fits with in order to get the helicopter to behave kind of the way that you want it to behave. And that's always kind of an issue when you're uh, doing stuff like that. B-52s, so let's get them over here. And yeah, they're not quite on target yet, so that makes me feel a little bit better. Alright, we'll be landing in just a moment. And then just like I promised, we'll go ahead and watch the B-52. Car fun, Jesus, that in Ellis. What a loss. But um, that's what happens when the Y-2-2 cave bug strikes, as you probably can imagine. I'm afraid to pop up, because I'm feeling I'm going to rear end like a gazelle or something. You always read in the newspaper about helicopters colliding. Oh, I have a brand new respect for that. Just how uh, close I was to colliding twice. So um, it kind of doesn't surprise me that it's really that bad. Alright, let's move up here. Altitude. We could literally land this thing like an airplane because the wheels are so squishy. It's one of the great, great features of all Russian Soviet aircraft. It's the fact that they're just built in bad conditions. So they're very, very easy. Right, I probably should have asked for permission before we just kind of like send it down randomly, but I'll uh, we'll just kind of stick it down. I'm pretty sure I'm headed to that this time. Low to the ground then, go to the warning light. I'm just trying to slow down. And we're down. Watch out for the lights. Don't do that, not an airplane. Oh, just an airplane. Alright, we're down. Alright, the break is nice and set. Model B-52s. My personal favorite B-52 is the B model, which is so strategic air command, it hurts my brain. Alright. Uh, the best uh, three model there. I mean, would it be cool if DCS had a model with the It's not like the main ones are now for the Some more here. Alright, he's swinging around. He's making a strike. Find out. Find some more. Get a little choppy. The helicopter's coming for the runway right now because we're going to have to break or something like that. Alright, here comes the lag. Uh, okay, this is my favorite part. And. Go! Oh, that was a good time. Here we go! Sorry, Nellis Air Force Base. I loved you back in Falcon 3. But unfortunately, those gamblers are making us have to do this. Well, it'd be nice if more of those actually hit the target that they didn't command, but you know, I'll take them. I'll take them. It's just satisfying to watch that little shock wave each time one hits. Oh, I missed that house by the moment or so. Cool. Oh, the helicopters haven't landed yet, so we're back to the other people. So here he comes. Wow, you can see that little streak of damage just in a row. Probably would have been clever to approach kind of that direction over there, so that when the B-52 showed up, they'd be able to kind of go down the line of buildings, rather than kind of on a funky angle here. But it's uh, still pretty impressive to watch. 
Keep in mind in command, uh, these guys got engaged by the SA-9s on the way up and they got wrecked because of it. Which is unfortunate. more damage to the barracks than, like, the airport. I was gonna say the airport's kind of the bigger target here, but that's okay. I'll take it. Imagine doing this with, like, 25 B-50s. Click Operation Linebacker. Alright, you've done your thing. Well, have you done your thing also? Yes, yes, he's just dropped his thing. Oh, that building just decided to catch fire and collapse. Well, it's... It, it, it's a bit <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go ahead next set out of the mission, see how we did. Uh, I didn't get... Oh, no, I got two vehicles. I helped. <laughs> Actually, my machine gun in the back got one. My rockets got the other one. So I'm not complaining too bad. So let's go ahead and see what happened here. So let's see. Blew up some cars. Blew up some poles. Blew up some cars. Blew up some poles. Blew up a fire truck. Blew up some cars. A shed. Another pole. A couple walls. Uh, eventually, they hit something important. Ah, here we go. So our first casualty was one of the AH-1s. Oh. Uh, that happened very similarly over in command, as you recall. Rolling down here. Let's see what happened. We lost the second AH-1. Oh, imagine if all four of those got shot down immediately. This would have been very different. All right, scrolling here. Uh, looks like then we did our thing. And uh, you can see that these guys absolutely ripped them a new one with all sorts of rockets. I think that's me. Oh, yeah. No, did a pretty good job here. So I helped. I'm not useless. Uh, coming up this way, it looks like we lost a single plane. What the heck? Oh, one of the B-52s decided to eat dirt. Oops. You don't see sharp, you'll see fit. And um, we obviously lost the two helicopters as well. All right, hopefully you guys found that kind of interesting. I think we have uh, one more mission left in the Vegas series here. Kind of a close air support, combined arms, shenanigan, all on one kind of thing. But we'll have to see how that plays out. Enjoy.